Let's now import both a terrain model and features into a working DGN file. First, let's see what the features look like in the native product, which in our case is inroads. We can view the features by going to Surface, View Surface Features, and hitting Apply. Once we close that dialog, we can see the different symbologies used to display the features that are in our proposed surface. Now let's turn these off by going to Surface, Update 3D Plan Display, and go into the Select Series product and import a terrain model. We can do so by going to Tasks, Civil Tools, Terrain Model, and selecting the first option, which is Create from File. Once we select the proposed DTM and hit Done, we will notice the Import Terrain Models dialog appears. If we use the Feature Definition drop-down, we will notice that in the XIN file that is associated to our Feature Definitions, we do not have any proposed ground Feature Definition. Going back to the Project Explorer, we can see that there are no proposed ground Feature Definitions. So now we will create a new one. We can do so by going back up to the top and right clicking on the folder and selecting new feature definitions and in our case we will select surface feature. This will allow you to key in a new name which we will call it proposed ground. Next we will go back to the import terrain model command selecting our surface that we would like to import and hit done and now we will select the feature definition proposed ground. For our import options we will be importing both terrain and features and we will select the import button. This will import the terrain model and features into the working DGN file and now we can close the dialog. Now notice we have some items in color and it appears that we have some triangles and other items in white. We will now go back to check the settings in the feature definition. We can do so by going back to the Project Explorer, right clicking on Proposed Ground, and select Properties. Notice that we do not have anything defined under 3D Properties. So now we will go and create an element template for this feature definition. We can do so by going to Element in MicroStation and selecting Element Templates. If we expand the tree of the DGN or the DGN lib file that we are in, we'll notice that we have two folders, one called Components and one called Terrain. We'll expand the Terrain folder and create a new template under Terrain. By right-clicking on the Terrain folder, we can select New Template. We will call this new template Proposed Ground. Now let's go ahead and link the element template to the feature definition so we can see the changes as we go. We can do so by selecting the drop-down list, navigating to Terrain, and selecting Proposed Ground. You can notice that we have some items that have already disappeared in our display. If we close the element information and go back to Element Templates, we can right-click on Properties and go to Add terrain model, and all. We may notice that the view has changed again, so let's look at the settings we have turned on. Under calculated feature display, we have all of the options turned on. Let's say we only want to see break lines and boundary for the terrain model. We will notice that these options are not listed here, so we will turn all of these options off. Now notice the view cleared up as we went through these options. Now let's look under Source Feature Display. Here are the options for break line and boundary as well as other items. Let's turn on break line and boundary and notice the display did not change. If we go down to Source Feature Settings and when we expand break line, we will notice that there are options available for us to change. Let's say we want to display the break lines in orange. We can change the color to orange. And let's say we want the line style and weight to be zero. The display has now changed. Moving on to boundary, 
we will notice the same options are available. Let's say we want the color blue and the line weight and style zero. The display changes again. Let's close the element template dialog. Remember we imported a terrain model and features, so let's go to level display and make some adjustments. If we set another level active other than default, we will be able to turn off default level and notice that our view has cleared up. Now if we flip-flop the display, we can see our terrain model settings, which are displaying the break lines and the boundary.